Okay, so let's go over the right hand first. We're going to start with uh, finger number one, the thumb on the right hand. We're going to find a G sharp. Okay, the G sharp is right in the middle of the three black notes. And the G sharp that we want is the second G sharp up from the bottom of the keyboard. It's the second octave from the bottom. Okay, so again, the first note we're going to hit with our thumb or finger number one is this G sharp. And then with finger number two, we're going to play a C sharp. So we have G sharp with finger number one, C sharp with finger number two. After the G sharp, then the C sharp, we're going to play an E with finger number three. So we have G sharp, C sharp, E, and then finally a higher G sharp with finger number five, our pinky. So we have one, two, three, five. Okay, let's practice that a little faster. Okay, from there, we're now going to take our thumb and play the C sharp. And then finger number two on the E, three on the G sharp, and five on the C sharp. So we have, okay, let's do that from the beginning. G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp. And then we're gonna take the thumb on the E, finger two on the G sharp, finger four on the C sharp, and finger five on the E. Okay, so that last part again, E, G sharp, C sharp, E. Okay, from the beginning, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp. C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp. E, G sharp, C sharp, E. Notice how each time, each sequence of four, we're doing essentially the same thing. We're just starting one note uh, higher than what we did the previous time. Again, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp. C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp. E, G sharp, C sharp, E and then G sharp, C sharp with finger number two, E with finger number three, G sharp. Okay, and then we're going to continue to follow that pattern. C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E. Okay, again from the beginning. G sharp, C sharp, E, 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 G sharp, C sharp, E. Okay, let's do this from the beginning. We have G sharp, C sharp, E, 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 G sharp, C sharp, E. And then we're going to play all four of these notes together, the G sharp, C sharp, E, and G sharp, like this twice. Okay, so nice and slow, we have the following.
Okay, so let's do that right hand one more time. Okay, now let's look at what happens in the left hand. So the left hand is going to start with this C sharp. It's the second C sharp from the bottom of the piano keyboard. And we're going to play it with our pinky. Notice how it's the leftmost black note of the pair of two. Okay, so after the C sharp, we're going to play a G sharp with finger two. So C sharp with the pinky or finger five and then G sharp with finger two. And we're basically going to be bouncing back and forth between these two notes the whole time. And we're going to play them all staccato. And then toward the end, there's going to be one minor difference. We're going to play two C sharps, the low with the high with the thumb, followed by a final G sharp. Let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then on the eighth, okay, on the eighth we play the two C sharps. So again, okay, now let's put the two hands together. Okay, so the left hand is going to start with that first C sharp. After playing that C sharp with your pinky with the left hand, the right hand is going to come in on the G sharp. So it looks like this. Now after that G sharp, the left and right hands are going to sound together. The left hand with finger two on that G sharp and the right hand with finger two on the C sharp. So we have C sharp with the left hand followed by G sharp with the right hand and then the left hand playing the G sharp and the right hand the C sharp at the same time. So. And then the E, and then the left hand's gonna go back to the C sharp while the right hand plays that G sharp. Now what's nice about this is once you get in the flow with the left hand, since it's doing the same thing the whole time, it should be easy to follow the pattern of what's going on between the left and right hands. So let me show you. And then here, One more time. Now I just want to mention that when we play the four notes with the right hand for the first time, which remember we're going to be playing the two C sharps at the same time in the left hand, we're actually going to press down the pedal that first time and then we're going to release it for the second time. The second time we hit should almost sound like a reflection of the first. Now let's try the whole thing adding in the pedal nice and slow.
Now, this is something you should definitely practice with a metronome, trying to build up your speed little by little every time that you do it. Uh, after a little while, you should be able to play it a little bit faster like this. Now let's play it even a little bit faster than that. And faster still. And one more time, even quicker.